guys, Shake Beer from The Shed Productions, bringing back another smoke alarm review. Yes. And today we have here, we have a Jameson Code 1 CD24, I genuinely forget. But this thing is factory sealed. Like, this thing hasn't even been opened. That's quite nice, actually. I feel quite bad having to, uh, but before we look at it, let's, uh, let's take a look at it. I mean, these are coming on eBay, so. But it has an escape light, so that's really nice. Alright. Enough oogling over the... Jameson. The biggest rebrander of Fire X. Kind of like how Sears is of BRK. If you didn't know. Sears likes to rebrand a, a lot of stuff. Not just but specifically alarm from BRK, Gateway. All that kind of stuff. Even, they even like to rebrand stuff from babies. So let's open up this box. Let's see. Alt saves two lives two ways. Whoa, look at that! That has the blue Murata horn! And this thing is slightly bigger than your average Fire X. But also smaller, but also really thin. Like, if we get, like, a your standard Fire X... It's way smaller. I mean, look at that. That is some comparison. All right. And it takes two batteries. Uh, just what I thought, actually. Model number CD24. I thought it was CD3023. Um... For installation and operation, refer to instruction manual. Layout is just like a Fire X layout. I mean, if you look at the Fire X layout. All right, let's see what else we got in this box. Because this is, this is, this is cool. All right, so apparently we got two batteries. Very well packaged, actually. Oh, wow, look at that. You just, like... I wish Smoke Alarms did that. How much do you want to bet that thing is deader than most people's great great grandparents? Alright. It even comes with its mounting bracket and some tamper resist. It looks just like a much bigger version of your standard Fire X bracket. So, yeah. Let's look at the uh, owner's manual and. Got some mounting hardware. That's always nice. Yeah, if you want to pause, I'll get some better pictures at the end of the video. Okay, let's grab two batteries and shove them in the alarm. Hmm, where are two good batteries? Okay, now well, that's a good battery. Okay, these are two good batteries. This is also my very first escape light alarm, so I don't know what to really expect. But this also has a very, very, very rare blue Murata horn. Or a blue, blue horn. They're almost non-existent.
All right. Let's move the CD. To What the hell? Wait, what is the bulb? The bulb's not even attached. Isn't it supposed to be attached? My first escape light alarm doesn't even work. Go figure. I was bound to have something uh, come to my residence, DOA. Oh well, we could probably pop the cover off. Firex fashion. But the cool thing is that it has the uh, blue Marotta horn. Because that's, that's fucking rare. You can see it's blue. Come on, man. You can't do me like that. It's not cool. I'd say this is mid 90s. Alright, but it, apparently we are going to have to pop the cover on this, so we are going to ruin a totally factory sealed. But we'll do that in a uh, separate video. Damn. That kind of sucks. That really sucks. It's not like... And there's not like a way that you can just replace the battery too. Maybe there's something in the manual.
Okay, so you can't just snap the thing out because it does look a little loose. Maybe you get damaged from the shipping. So, all right. So let me grab a flathead screwdriver. Yeah, it's just not turning on. I think I have a dead lamp. Well, that's certainly better than having. Well, I am going to have to get a new lamp, though, for this. Okay, so the bulb actually does work. I just think the battery that's controlling the bulb is dead. Alright, so which one's which? Does the detector still function? Yeah, it looks like the thing is super, 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 super dim. Mm-hmm. They've got to be freaking kidding me.
I don't think it'll last. I don't have a spare carbon zinc battery at the very moment. So guys, that's going to do it for today's video. Alright, see you guys.